This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to create your beautiful website and build your brand. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but free way. As you can see from the title and at the beginning of the video, yes, it's my dream wedding dress that I make for my wedding. I still can't believe that I make it my own wedding dress. It's such a very special feeling when you can wear the wedding dress you make on your wedding day. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make it. In the previous video, I shared with you my experience in finding the design for my wedding dress and how I created my pattern. I tried to make it become like a basic guide for anyone who have an idea of making their own wedding dress. So if you miss this or you want to look back, I put the link in the description so you can check it out. And now let's continue with a few last steps in the process of making my dream wedding dress. After creating the pattern, test it out before using it on your actual wedding fabrics. Because this thread is very special and I want it to be perfect. Besides that, wedding fabric in general are not cheap compared to the normal fabric. So after making the pattern, I tested it with the similar fabric foot. With my design, I just tested the bias part because I want it to fit me perfectly. And it took me 3 times of testing to get my final pattern for the bias part of the dress. And it's totally worth it. I know what I should do at each step and which one I should be careful of when doing it on my actual wedding fabrics. After getting the final pattern, I started cutting it in the actual wedding fabrics. I worked on the bias part first. He is the centerpiece of the bias in the blank white fabric and in the floral lake fabric. I connect two types of fabric pieces together. I also do the same with two pieces of the side front piece of the bias. Then I connect them to the center piece at the curved line and sewing. After that, I connect the front bias to the back bias at the shoulders. I make a small cut at the curved line of the front bias and iron it before connecting it to the lining fabrics of the bias. I connect them together at the line from the back to the neckline at the front. After sewing, I put one side of the cutout piece in new fabric in the middle between the main fabric and the lining fabric at the front bias and sewing to connect them on together. Remember, don't sew the part at the back of the bias. I make a few small cuts at the curved line at the neck and at the end of the open part before turning them inside to hide on the end fabric inside. Mm -hmm. 
After that, I connect the other side of the cut out piece to the back of the bodice. Make sure to put the cut out piece in the middle between the main fabric and the lining fabric and sewing. After upsiding the back part, I don't need to permanent on the seam. I use the pair of cup form to add the extra look for my small bread. Then I connect the main fabric and the lining fabric at the end of the bodice together. And we will finish the baddest part of the dress after sewing. Before moving to the skirt part of the dress, let's take a break to get to know our sponsor today. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, the only one platform to create your beautiful website and build your brand. I first started using Squarespace in the beginning of the preparation for my wedding because I needed to build a wedding website. I remember I was a big rush at that time because it was less than a year until my wedding. So I need a platform that is simple and easy to use to help me build my wedding website quickly. And Squarespace really set my tongue. Squarespace have a lot of professional templates in different styles, but each template can be customized to fit your style. That's why I created my perfect wedding website and launched it just in a day. One thing I really like when building my wedding website with Squarespace is that the mobile version of your website it automatically includes to make the overall of your website so you don't have to spend more time to revise or create a mobile version and it is super helpful because nowadays most of us use mobile for literally everything because Lachlan and I are international couples so our friends and families are not living in one country that's why sending an actual wedding invitation to them is not an ideal option for us. Therefore, we decide to send a digital invitation and I yield the email campaign tools from Squarespace to do it. Squarespace has a lot of templates for email campaign depending on your purpose. On the template are also customizable, so you can easily turn them into the style that you want. And come along with the template is the integrated analytic. I can track my email campaign anytime to see who received the email, who did not, or any email wasn't delivered. It's helped me a lot in managing the registration of my wedding guests. So if you want to create your beautiful wedding website or any other site, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. You can track it out yourself first to see how easy it is. And when you're ready to launch your website, head to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first budget of a website or domain. Thank you Squarespace again for helping me create my beautiful webbing website and support my channel. Continuing with the skirt part of the dress, I connect the front skirt into pieces of the back skirts together at the side lines.
Doing the same for the blank white fabric and the floral fabric, then connect them together at the waistline. After that, I connect the main fabric of the skirt part to the bodice. However, I just connect them together at the front of the dress and keep the back open. After sewing, I keep connecting the lining fabric of the skirt part to the bodice. Make sure the bodice will be in the middle between the main fabric and the lining fabric of the skirt part and sewing to connect them on together. I use a 30cm invisible zipper to connect two back skirt pieces together. I connect the zipper to the main fabric first, then I connect the lining fabric to them later. So the zipper will be in the middle between the main fabric and the lining fabric. So when you turn the lining fabric inside, it will have a cling look, not only outside but also inside of the dress. After that, I connect the rest of the back skirt under the zipper together. Remember to connect the lining fabric and the main fabric separately.
The last step is finishing the end of the dress. I fold the end fabric inside two times with a half centimeter each time and sewing. Doing separately for the main fabric and the lining fabric. And I finished my dream wedding dress. After that, I did a cleaning and ironing to make it ready for the big day. Next step is choosing the accessory you want to go with your wedding dress. I decided to make my own wedding veil to match my wedding dress. Depending on the design of your wedding dress, you can find the right wedding veil for it. Here are the basic wedding veil toy for your reference. Because I chose the camera lens for the trend of my wedding dress, so I make my wedding veil in a similar style and a bit longer than my wedding train. They have a few options for the material of the wedding veil. I chose white silk to, to match the color of my wedding dress. I cut one width line of the fabric in the curved shape by using the back skirt pattern of my wedding dress. The veil I make is 2 meter wide and 2.5 and meter long, so they will match each other. To make the veil more matching to my dress, I use the floral from the leg fabric to insert around the curved line of the veil. I use a glue gun to do it, but I just do it for the grounded part of the veil and keep it clean for the top part. Moving to the top of the veil, I gather fabric to 10 cm width, which is the width of the hairpin I will use, so I can connect them together later. I use the glue gun to do it too. But to make sure it's one move, I hand sew to connect them again. And I finished this special DIY. Here's a final look of my dream wedding dress. I love it so much and everyone loves it too. We have an amazing wedding day. Hope you guys like it and see you in the next video.